Hi, this is uh, Shanzai.com and today we're taking a good look at the uh, P660 Plus, which is uh, one of the, the nicer little smartphones that we've had a chance to review recently. Uh, it's a very interesting product. If we take a, a first look, it has uh, its own unique sort of shape and design with a 2.8 inch screen, but it does also ha uh, have some of the more popular features that you can find out there on most smartphones today. Uh, the first one being actually uh, a little bit of a finish and coloring scheme that is similar to the Nexus, uh, the most popular new uh, Android phone out from Google. It's got a little bit of a, a sort of slightly less than dark gray, off black kind of uh, matte finish on the product, which is actually quite nice and doesn't pick up a lot of fingerprints notably, which is very good compared to some of the more shinier black. And yet it still has some of the more shiny piano black finish areas as well to make it look uh, quite attractive and I would say just at a first glance it's actually a very good looking uh, business type phone. Maybe not your party phone with all kinds of great colors but uh, for a business especially user type phone very nice uh, styling. Now if we take a quick walk through the device itself you'll note there's actually not a lot of I.O. on the device. There is actually only one mini USB connection which is what you'll be using to power up uh, the device to connect it to the PC and also in this particular case to connect to your headphones or connects to a mini USB. Some people like that and some people don't. Um, the device itself is also noticeable by a rocker switch similar to the iPhone here for adjusting the volume when you're playing music or uh, adjusting your ring tone volume. Uh, there's a power button on the top here as well. On the back side we've got the camera which is a 3.2 megapixel camera as it's listed here on the outside of the device. You can see in small letters, probably not able to on camera though. And then there's a stylus hidden away up here in the top of the device, which is really good for the Windows uh, CE 6.5 operating system that's on the device. And then here there's a dedicated uh, button for uh, taking pictures on the camera, if you can see that there. And then that's pretty much it for the device, except for on the front side. And one of the reasons I want to focus quickly on what's going on on the front side of the device is because this is where there is a sort of navigation pad. A lot of the phones we've been seeing lately have a BlackBerry style trackball that we've reviewed. And I have to tell you, I'm not really a huge fan of the trackball. I know some people like it for navigating around. But this trackpad, which also includes a center button as well as an outside ring that lets you navigate left, right, up and down through the device, is actually excellent. Especially for devices running a Windows CE operating system. I think this is probably one of the best navigation uh, features I've seen on any of the phones that we've reviewed. Um, the power on and uh, sorry, the the, uh, the red uh, hang up a call and the green answer a call buttons are quite obvious and simple for using with using the phone. But the the red button also acts as a back button to your home screen and back through the device as you're navigating, and that's very very functional as well. I've uh, turned the power on on the device here. You can see there's actually a touch feature. It's giving a slight cover flow slash uh, Apple scroll function so that you can scroll through the different uh, functions on the device. It basically is a layer on top of the Windows CE and what it does is it helps you access some of your more popular uh, applications that you'll be using most frequently. And in this case, it's there's a an calendar, an appointments, email, uh, pictures, music, uh, and your, uh, your phone call features and time. Underneath that, when you click on the device itself, it goes back to your original uh, Windows CE 6.5. Click of the button, back button, and you're back to the home screen. So that's quite nice for actually getting to your, some of your basic operations. To give you a little bit of a sense of the audio quality. While the audio quality isn't fantastic, I have to say it's not quite as tinny sounding as some of the other phones that we've reviewed. It's not not great, but not actually that bad. Uh, phone quality. We did placing phone calls on this. Again, we noticed it, that there's less tinny noise. It's a very good quality sound for talking back and forth for, on the phone. So we're impressed by that part of it. The text messaging and voice Sorry, text messaging system is still Windows CE, so maybe not as quite as uh, visually attractive as, say, your, an iPhone, but actually uh, still very functional. The one shortcoming on the device, I would have to say, is the small uh, menu, 
when you are using the actual uh, keyboard, the on-screen keyboard is quite tiny. But then again, at the same time, for those of you used to Windows CE devices, that's where your, uh, your uh, stylus comes into play. So if you're comfortable and familiar with using your stylus on the device, that will be no problem for your users. Uh, other things that I would like to say about the device is it's got a, basically a very good touch screen. It's fairly responsive. Uh, the build quality feels quite strong. If the device doesn't feel weak in any, any way, shape, or sense of the word. And one thing that really stood out that I noticed is that it's quite light. After, compared to other smartphones and for the size of the device, it actually feels very light. And that it's quite, I thought that maybe that would mean it would feel less sturdy, but actually if you play with the device, it's, it's strong and light. So I would say that's a quite impressive function of it. Wi-Fi. We tested the Wi-Fi on the device connecting to the internet, no problems. Uh, but still, I would say with some of the shortcomings of the Windows CE and Internet Explorer browser and the Windows CE interface. Overall, I would say this phone, uh, depending on the pricing and where you're able to buy it, um, is probably good value for the money if you're looking for a straight-up telephone. Uh, it has, if you're looking for your basic smartphone features, uh, they do that extremely well. The rest of the features, the more deeper side of it, will be the Java and Windows CE uh, 6.5, which is for those who, are, who know those operating system well, you'll understand the limitations and uh, great functionality and lots of uh, applications that are available for it. So for an entry-level smartphone, for a business user, I'd say this is probably a pretty good device.